Hello and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at July 3rd, 2024's XV Negative Sudoku by Clover. Uh, Clover's one of our setters here at Gas HQ, so my, my name is Bill Murphy. Thank you to everyone who sent well wishes in the comments of the last video. I absolutely appreciate them. Um, I might be still sick, so if I have to reach off camera to blow my nose, um, yeah you know um but i surprisingly am on my way to the beach uh which is a questionable choice in melbourne winter but you get that sometimes um but let's get to it uh so we are genuinely approachable sudoku we made genuinely approachable variant sudokus for you the person at home watching this uh you can uh like comment subscribe but you can you can help uh buy a month of patreon off us if you really want to support us but realistically we do it because we love it um you can find the link to this puzzle in the description below you also find hat times two hats is for a very fast time one hat is for a pretty fast time and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally um let's get into it so this is an xv sudoku so normal sudoku rules apply uh digits separated by an x sum sum to x sum to 10 digits separated by a v sum to 5 all possible x's and v's are given um you will notice there are no x's or v's in this puzzle um which is what we call a negative constraint so you could if you were internalizing it in this way go adjacent cells cannot sum to 5 or 10 that is another way that you can interpret these rules. Hell, I might even put that in the description. Um, but uh, mainly because we do something called the negative constraint alarm and nobody ever remembers the negative constraint. So I'm here emphasizing it at the top of this puzzle. There is a negative constraint today. Please do not miss it. So, um, but normal Sudoku rules apply. So each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. So let's get started. Now, uh, if uh, adjacent digits can't sum to five or 10, then the only choice that these all these cells can have is five, because uh, if it was six, it would make 10 with four, seven, uh, 10 with three, eight, 10 with two, nine, 10 with one um so that is how to get started now um how do we get more digits because we have no six sevens eights or nines in this thing so the way that um i'm gonna sort of shortcut a bit of the logic here is um when i say that this cell can only be six it is because adjacent to it we have a one two and a three uh because it is a adja adjacency thing uh one two and three mean that we cannot place a seven eight or nine because that would create ten so this must be six now three uh you can also come over here and do that because this is adjacent to two three and four meaning that this has to be nine um yeah uh this three means that these two can't have seven so that's seven we need to place an eight and a nine in here we can do that because one can't go next to nine so that's eight and that's nine uh down here uh two can't go next to eight so eight must be here uh six can't go next to four so that's six and this is seven uh six seven eight and nine now uh Oh, um, where are we? Where are we going with this? Let's do it down here because this has to be this sees two, three, and four, so this has to be the nine. Uh, two can't have the eight, so the eight must go here. Six can't be next to the four, uh, so six and seven. Cool. Hope, hope that's uh, hope that's relatively simple to follow now. Uh, we need to place a 5, a 7, and a 9 in here. The, these 7 and 9 see this cell, so this is a 5. 3 down here, uh, three, me 3 over here means it can't go next to 7, so that must be the 9, and this is the 7. Uh, we need to place a 5, a 6, and an 8 
in here. Uh, this one, ah, this all up here is six and eight. C six and eight, so this must be the five. And now we have the two, meaning that can't be eight. So this is eight, and this is six. Uh, now one, eight, and nine left to place. This is a very standard trick. In um, I mean, I I I'm going to explain it, but please know that I know that you can just resolve this regardless. So if you are doing a negative Sudoku. Um, and you have a triplet in the middle. Um, please know that this cell, if two of the cells must be separated due to the negative constraint, you can almost always fill in the top cell. So um, I'm going to use an example somewhere else so that way conflict checker doesn't ruin me. Uh, we'll, we'll go over here. We will do two, six, and eight. So ignore that, but if these three cells had to be two, six, and eight, we knew we must put six in here because otherwise, if this cell was two, then the, one of those two cells would have to be eight. And if that's eight, that one of those two cells would have to be two and that would break. Um, however, because of the way that we've got this set up, uh, this cell says one and eight, eight must go in the middle to separate it from the one. Uh, four, six, and seven, we've got four and a seven there, so that's a six. Uh, can't go next to four, so that's seven, and that's four. Uh, two, seven, and nine left to place in here. Well, we have two and seven already in column nine. Ugh. We have a 2 and 7 already in column 9. Uh, we cannot quite do the 2, 7 just yet. Uh, 4, 6, and 8, just the same way that I described it before. Uh, you can't have uh, these 2B4, 6, or those 2B4, 6. So you must put the 8 in the middle. Uh, 1 can't be next to the 4, but there's also a 4 in the column. So that's 6, and that's 4. Uh, 1, 3, and 5, uh, we can put the 3 here. And now we have a one and a five left to place. Four can't go next to one, so that's five, that's one. Uh, two, five, and seven left to place here. We have a two and a seven here, so that's five. Two here tells us which way around the seven and the two go. Uh, one and eight to place. Uh, one here will tell us how that goes. Uh, two, six, and nine. That's two. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, I can. Uh, that's a six. So that's nine and six. Four and three. Uh, eight and nine. Uh, one and two. Tell us which way around those go. Five, six, and seven. Uh, can't quite do all of that just yet. That's five, though. Um, two, four, and five. Let's place down here. Um, oh, they're all just naked singles. All right. Um, I love it when there are naked singles in my area. Uh, <laughs> he, he's recovering. That's what we'll say. Well, that's what we'll say. And then uh, six and seven left place. That has been XV negative Sudoku by Clover. My name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm probably not going down the beach strictly today because it's like... 12 degrees celsius here um i have no idea what that's in fahrenheit but it's probably pretty low um wherever you are in the world have a fantastic day and i will catch you next time cheers